Logistic and Gompertz functions. Logistic function. When growth begins slowly, then increases at a rapid rate and finally slows over time to a rate that is almost zero, the amount or number present at any given time frequently fit on an S-shaped curve. Growth of business organizations and the spread of a virus or a disease sometimes occur according to this pattern. For real numbers A, B, and C, the function f of x equals c over 1 plus a times e to the negative bx is a logistic function. The parameter c is often called the limiting value or upper limit because the line y equals c is a horizontal asymptote for the logistic function. Example 1, women and the workforce. The table contains the total number of women in the workforce in millions for selected years from 1950 and projected to 2050. Create a scatter plot of the data with x equal to the number of years after 1940 and y equal to the number of women in the workforce in millions. Let's go over to our calculator and into the stat editor we will put our x values. And our y values into list 2. Double check to make sure that you don't have any typos in your data. There we go. And let's go to our stat plot here. Second y equals, we can turn our stat plot on there and um, then we can do a zoom on the stats now that the stat plot is on. And now we want to find a logistic function that models the data. So again that is in our stat menu and over to calculate it's in with the rest of our regression models and we go down to logistic and it automatically pulls from list 1 and list 2. You can store your regression equation there and it will calculate for you. So we have uh, y equals 92.227 over 1 plus 7.537 e to the negative 0.049x. Let's graph the data and the model on the same axes and then we'll comment on the fit. We've already stored that function so um, if you remember right we did a similar example and we tried other functions. They didn't quite fit as well. This one fits very nicely. So it's um, it's a better fit than previous models. Now what will be the number of women in the workforce in 2032 according to the model? Um, well, x is the number of years after 1940, so this is going to be 92. Let's go ahead and trace. 
scroll up or down so that you're actually on the graph and not on the uh, plots. And we're going to put in 92. And in 92 years, we have um, 85.17 um, million, that's in millions, women in the workforce in the year 2032. According to this model, what's the upper limit on the number of women in the workforce? That's going to be that uh, numerator, the value of C in the function. That's a horizontal asymptote for that um, that model. So we have uh, 92.227 million women. And um, after a while this this model will have to be redone. Uh, it, it's definitely not going to cap out at that many um, million of women. So after a while the model is no longer valid and you recalculate a new model. Expected lifespan. Using data from 1920 and projected to 2020, the expected lifespan of people born in the United States can be modeled by y equals 82.488 all over 1 plus 0 0.816 e to the negative 0.024x, where x is the number of years from 1900. Use the model to estimate the birth year after 1900 that gives an expected lifespan of 79 years with first graphical methods and then algebraic methods. So let's start out by putting the model into the calculator. Go to y equals. Let's turn our plots off from the previous data. And we'll clear this out. Remember you can use your fraction template to put this together, 82.488, and that's over 1 plus 0.816 times e to the negative 0.024x, and Make sure we don't have any typos before we move on. And uh, if we graph this, let's see, we're, we're looking already at um, 79, let's see, we're looking at X being the number of years from 1900. So let's set our window from zero to, let's say, 150. And, and then we'll do a, a zoom fit. Okay. We want to see what gives an expected lifespan, what year would give a, an expected lifespan of 79 years. That is a y value, so we're, we'll make a second function of y equals. And let's see if that shows. It definitely shows and we see the intersection there. So we can calculate the intersection and there we go. Graphical methods, we get about 121.5 years, and that's the number of years after 1900. That means uh, the year 2021 uh, and a half, so let's go ahead and bump that up to 2022. So in the year 2022, we'll have an expected lifespan of 79 years. Now let's do this with algebraic methods. We have um, the 79 years is our y and we'll copy down the rest of that function. And Let's go ahead and clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by that denominator. That'll give me a 79 plus 
79 times 0 0.816 e to the negative 0.024x equals 82.488. Um, go ahead and subtract 79 from both sides. It gives me a, a 3.488 and on our home screen here let's uh, do 79 times 0.816 that is 64.464 e to the negative 0 0.024x and divide both sides by that 64.464 so we have 3.488 divided by that number up there so that gives me e to the negative 0.024x equals 0 0.0541 now we're ready to put this into natural log form and the last thing to do would be to divide both sides by a zero negative 0 0.024 and let's put that into the calculator point oh, natural log of that number we just got up there close parentheses divided by negative 0.024 and that gives us about 121.5 years so that's going to be uh, the year 2022 Gompertz functions another type of function that models rapid growth that eventually levels off is called the Gompertz function this type of function can also be used to describe human growth and development, the growth of organizations in a limited environment, and the growth of many other types of organizations. These functions have the equation of the form n equals c a to the r to the t. So we have a double exponentiation going on. t represents the time. r is between 0 and 1 and R is the expected rate of growth of the population. C is the maximum possible number of individuals. And A represents the proportion of C present when T equals zero. So let's look at example three on deer population. The Gompertz equation, N equals 1000 times 0 0.06 to the 0.2 to the T, predicts the size of a deer herd on a small island T decades from now. What's the number of deer on the island now when T equals zero? So if T is zero, then we have 0.2 to the zero, which is one. 0.06 to the 1 is 0 0.06 and 0 0.06 times a thousand is going to be 60. Yeah, we could even put this into the calculator and let the calculator figure it. So we have a thousand times 0 0.06 to the 0.2 to the 0 and there we are with 60 deer. Okay, so 60 deer. Um, we're going to be doing other computations as far as, uh, and also looking at the graph and all of that. So let's go ahead and put it into the equation editor. We've got 1000, and that's times 0 0.06. Oh, I have a double times. Times 0 0.06 to the 0.2 to the x. There we are. And then uh, we can go and look at the table after that. You can see at 0, 0, time of 0 is 60 deer. And how many deer are predicted to be on the island one decade from now? And t would equal 1 then. Remember t is the number of decades from now looks like 570 deer 
570 deer. Okay, we can graph the function. Um, let's say we set our window to go from 0 to, oh gosh, 20, that'd be uh, 200 years. And we can do a zoom fit. And there we go. We can graph that function. And what's the maximum number of deer predicted by the model? Um, when this becomes a large exponent, that t becomes a large exponent, in other words. So we can see, let me look at the, um, look at the tracing on this. We can, so you can see it's approaching 1,000. Remember, c is the maximum possible number of individuals. That's that coefficient in front of the exponential expression. So 1,000 deer. In how many decades will there be 840 deer on the island? Well, the number they've given you is a y. So we can go ahead and put 840 in there. And um, when we graph that, they definitely we see the intersection and we can calculate what the intersection is. And that would be 1.7 decades from now. So 1.7 decades. So about 17 years from now, there's going to be 840 deer on the island. Example four, company growth. A new dot-com company starts with three owners and five employees, but tells investors that it will grow rapidly with the total number of people in the company given by the model n equals 2000 times 0 0.004 to the 0.5 to the t. t is the number of years from the present. Use graphical methods to determine the year in which the number of employees is predicted to be a thousand. And we can definitely do that. We'll go to our equation editor and put the function in. 2000 times 0 0.004 to the 0.5 to the x. And the 1000 is a y. So we'll make another y equals and then let's set our window. Let's say from 0 to 25 years. Let's see what happens then. We'll do a zoom fit. We definitely see the intersection, so we can calculate that. Calculate the intersection. And you get 2.99. So it, it'll be three years from now. So in three years, the um, number of employees will be 1,000. And you can see from the model as well that the maximum number of employees will be 2,000 eventually, if, if that would be something that they wanted to know. And that does it for this lesson. Go ahead and try your homework. Let me know if you have questions.